Welcome back everyone to another beer review. Uh, now this one I got, uh, I actually forgot where I got it from and the price for a change. Anyone that watches me knows this is a, a bit of a regular thing for me. So I've done a bit of research and uh, if I remember rightly as well, I got it at a different price. So the next one up is uh, from Tesco's. Got this from Tesco's. Uh, I believe I got the pound off it. I'm certain I got it for 250 but if not, it's 350 and it's from Brewdog and it's a can of their double punk, uh, 440 mil can, 8.2%. Shitty can design, it's got to be said, but we've all been through that and heard all that rubbish before, so we'll shut up about that. Uh, this is basically just a ramped up version of a punk IPA. So uh, yeah, we'll get it out the can, see what we get. Don't think I've really seen any I think I've only seen one review of this, and to be fair, the one who reviewed it, I know he's a bit of a hardened IPA, uh, punk IPA fan, so uh, I think he thought it, he, he quite enjoyed it, he didn't think it was anything unbelievably amazing, but we'll see what I think of it, doesn't mean I'm right, he's right, he's wrong, or I'm wrong, so uh, we'll just see what we get. So, there we go. I've even got the punk glass in there. I'm getting big aromas off it. More than, I would say, more than a normal one. Uh, we've got like a, a it's almost a, a slightly orange, hazy beer. Uh, very little carbonation in there. Very little carbonation. Uh, and I would say minute sediment in there. Uh, we've got a finger of quite a creamy white head, although there are some big bubbles that are going. Yes, I'm still here, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it looks like a punk IPA. So let's give it a swirl, get the old ooter in there and see what we got on the nose. Look at that, apart from head. Very sort of tropical grapefruit notes. Hoppy. It actually smells really nice, to be honest. It, it, I think it actually smells, I would say, from what I remember of the normal punk IPA, it smells better than that. It does smell really good. Yeah, so that's about it. it. Smells good. Looks pretty much as you'd expect. So let's dive in with the taste, see what we get. So cheers, everyone. Cheeky beer review before while I'm cooking tea. This is. <laughs> Bit underwhelming to be honest. Uh, first thing that hit me was the ABV. You can tell this is ramped up. It's eight point two. There isn't much hide in it, personally. Well, it's hidden, but you can tell you're drinking it. You can tell you're drinking 8.2. Yeah. Uh, I'll come out and be honest. That's rather disappointing. It's not that it's shit uh but i don't think it justifies the price for me uh body is punk ipa just quite sort of yeah it's just punk ipa it's just as you'd expect from normal punk ipa carbonation there the bitterness is it's very bitter for me that and the, and the bitterness is kicking in more the more you drink it actually to a point where you're like Phew. or I am anyway I'm not a big bitterness person <laughs> with beers to be honest uh, hoppy grapefruit 
real sort of grapefruit tropical sort of bitterness to it. Uh, for me, I think that's very disappointing. If I'm talking, there's there's no there's nothing there for me that that makes it any different to the normal punk IPA. Well, that's not strictly true. It's trying to, but it, it's still trying to stick with the the normal punk IPA in my view. Except the fact that you taste the alcohol, and with that alcohol, the beer loses its its sort of nice flavours to it for me, uh, and it's 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 got a strong bitterness to it, and for me, not a nice bitterness really. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> A rather disappointing drink and the worst thing is I've still got bloody I've still got all that left to do uh, so yeah I mean for me this doesn't cut the mustard I don't think it's worth the 350 which I think it's actually retailing at you know uh, it's a ramped up uh, punk IPA and punk IPA is only average anyway and actually ramping it up has, hasn't done it any favours in my view. So there you go. If you do want to pick it up, Tesco's £3.50, like I say. If you don't want to pick it up, fucking leave it there. Uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think. I'm very disappointed. I personally prefer the normal Punk IPA. Uh, I'd, I'd pick that up every time over this. Uh, and it's like £1.20 cheaper a can. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> See, I got a bit lost on this video. I was, I was hoping for a bit better, but uh, it, it's no better. So, uh, yeah, so interact. Uh, let me know what you think. Like I said, uh, like, share my video, subscribe to my channel, YouTube and Facebook, all the beer, no idea. Uh, all the beer, no idea one on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers. I'm ten away now, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna give it a push. Two hundred ninety subscribers. Please, 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 anyone that watches my videos that isn't subscribed, uh, be great if you could subscribe. Ten more to reach the big three hundred for me. That'd be a huge, huge. I mean, the two hundred was huge, but three hundred is for me amazing. It just it's just a huge amount of subscribers. So. Uh, that's that. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you're having a cheeky beer, enjoy it. And no doubt I'll be back in a bit for another beer review. So cheers.